Schools are the building blocks of our child's academic career. An average child spends about six to eight hours of his time daily in the school, and hence it is quite important that you as a parent choose a school that fits your child's personality as well as suits you too. That's because the school your child goes to determines the course of their future. In other words, choosing a school that identifies your child's potential, nurtures their skills, and enables them to become change makers is essential. Choosing a school can be a stressful decision for parents. And it should be, in that we want the best for our kids. One piece of advice is to make a plan before you begin your research and start visiting schools. Writing down a list of your concerns, questions, and expectations will help you save time, be more prepared, and put yourself at ease when it's time to make a decision. Consider adding any of the tips below that resonate with you as you put together your plan. Different schools provide different facilities, therefore here are 10 things you must consider while selecting a school for your child. In this video, we will highlight 10 important tips or points before selecting a school for your child. Tip number 1. What are your kids' needs? This is an excellent place to start, even before you start your research. Think through what does your kid specifically need in a school to help them thrive? Here are a few areas to consider to help you get started. Does your kid need an English as a second language or other language class? Does your kid have any special learning needs? Does your kid work better in a structured or unstructured environment? Does your kid respond better to an environment that supports creativity? Is your kid a vegetarian or have special dietary needs? Does your kid like to work alone or in a group? Is your kid more inclined to the arts like music, art, creative writing? or more inclined to the sciences, mathematics, logic? Of course, our kids may not show a tendency to one or the other of these options. For example, our six-year-old daughter can work equally well alone or in a group. But, if given a choice, she might prefer a school that has a focus on the arts because of her love of music, dance, and art. Make this a running list so you can add to it as you make your plan and begin to visit schools. Tip number two, make a list of what is important to you as a parent before considering what other parents, family members, and bloggers believe is important when looking for a school, make your own list. As we saw in tip number one, you know your kid better than anyone. After you have completed all your research and narrowed down the options, you are usually left with your gut feeling to help you make a final choice. So, take some time and think through early in the process what's important to you and your kid. Tip number 3. Location of the school. You don't want your child to travel 15 kilometers every day on their way to school. That will be not only time consuming, but quite tiring as well for the child. Look for a school that is not too far and takes maximum 20 to 30 minutes to reach from your residence. Depending on which city you live in, this tip will help you quickly narrow down your options. Unless you are willing to move, decide how long you are willing to have your kid travel to and from school. Consider the time of day and traffic that will be involved. Also, consider when you will need to pick up your kid because of extracurricular activities. We decided 20 minutes, one way, was the maximum amount of time we were willing to travel before choosing the school we did. 20 minutes one way, twice a day is 40 minutes, multiplied by 5 days a week, equals 3 and a half hours a week, our daughter spends in the car commuting to school. We did a lot of math like this to help us decide. Tip number four, competency of the faculty. A team of teachers that has the capacity and training. This is probably one of the most important points. Check the reviews of the school and its teachers. The learning methodology they follow at school. What is the educational background of the teachers and the quality of learning, etc. Talk to teachers if you can, ensuring that your child is mentored by well-trained and professional teachers is crucial for your child's complete learning experience. Hence, the teacher's behavior, personality, and outlook should steer the child towards making the most of their time at school. Besides, teachers are responsible for molding your children to be the best they can be. Checking the teacher credentials academic achievements or their reputation is a great way to begin as you'd be trusting your precious children around them. 
Hence, choosing a school that has trained and qualified teachers is essential. Tip number 5. Curriculum that's future ready. Education board and other development-based activities choose as per your preference between CBSE, ICSE, IB, State Syllabus or Cambridge. You send your child to school to empower them for tomorrow. Learning is no more about theoretical knowledge. Schools should focus on practical application of that theoretical knowledge to ensure better inculcation. In addition to academic engagements, a good school should have co-curricular activities that fuel the holistic growth of a child within house programs that help them build essential skills of the future. When children take part in creative activities, it fosters their intellectual development, which in turn gives them an edge. So, choose a school that helps grow your child's leadership skills, propels their interest in ethics, results in social and personal development while teaching them responsibility and independence. Tip number 6. Consider the cost. Budget, as much as we want our children to study in best of the schools, our budget is also imperative to which school we chose. Choose a school where you can sustain to pay fees regularly and this does not become a burden for you. Another tip that will help you quickly narrow your list of schools is your budget. Some schools will likely be out of your price range. Based on our experience, don't fall into the thinking that because you find a cheaper tuition rate, the education is inferior or it's a worse fit for your kid. We definitely found that the more expensive schools did not always reflect the quality of education or the fit of the school for our kid. So think and decide. Tip number 7. Student-teacher ratio. A school must also have an appropriate teacher-student ratio so that all children get individualized attention and the chance to grow and flourish in their own unique way. Student-teacher ratio needs to be one of the checkpoints. Your child is an individual and although every child cannot be given individual attention, at least having a smaller number of kids in a class helps a teacher to concentrate on all kids equally. Ideal class should be maximum 35 to 40. Tip number 8. Extracurricular activities. Check if the school has a ground where children can play and the kind of extracurricular activities children will get exposure to. Many schools provide yoga, martial arts, music, dancing, cooking, coding, to name a few. Select a school based on your child's interest. Tip number 9. Research the schools. Now that you have identified your kids' needs, defined what you are looking for in a school, calculated how far you are willing to travel, and agreed on a budget, you are ready to create your short list of schools. Here are a few options to consider when researching schools. A space that's conducive to learning. When you are shortlisting a school for your child, your first priority should be to identify a space that fosters their growth and boosts their development. And that is only possible if the school has a positive learning environment with supportive teachers who help cultivate the best values in your child. Children can grow and flourish in an environment only if they feel safe and cared for. Hence, evaluate the school's safety measures and practices against bullying, harassment and punishment. The space must prioritize the well-being of its students while making them feel protected. Besides, the school must have state-of-the-art infrastructure and well-equipped learning areas specially designed to help your child satiate their learning needs. The more inspiring the school is, the better for a child's career. Another important point. Technology that can enhance learning experiences. A school that prioritizes learning and development also emphasizes on state-of-the-art technologies in its quest of delivering education. Digital resources should be used adequately with gamified learning and interactive content. These can help foster imagination in a child while keeping them engaged. When video and multimedia are incorporated in learning to support real-time teaching, the results are impressive. Hence, opt for a school that uses technology to go above and beyond in its mission of delivering a good education. Moreover, with the onset of the pandemic, the need for online learning has increased multifold. Hence, schools that are adept in technology, all willing to learn and keep up with the times, must make the cut. Moreover, do the internet research. I would first start with the school's website. 
Check out the school's mission and vision statement, as sometimes questions of fit can be answered here. Usually, questions about curriculum, tuition and fee costs, extracurricular activities, safety and security, and food options will be listed here. Also, check out reviews of the school by parents, former teachers and staff, and other resources that specialize in school reviews. Last but not least on this tip, ask around. Engage friends and family and ask for introductions to parents and formal and current students of the school to have a chat and learn more about their experience. This is where you'll also get more of an honest assessment of the school. Tip number 10, visit the schools. Now that you have thoroughly researched your shortlist, you may be able to further shorten your list based on what you have learned. Before you schedule your visits, your last step is to organize your questions and create a checklist to make sure you don't forget any piece of information. The last thing you need is to be unnecessarily discouraged because you forgot to ask if lunch would be provided. I would definitely review tips 1 and 2 as you put your checklist together. When it comes to your school visit, some schools may have a designated day for these visits. While we were okay with a guided group tour, it was important for us to be on a tour while school was in session. We also wanted to talk to teachers, the principal, and support staff is possible. Here are a few questions to consider as you put the finishing touches on your plan. 1. What is the school's approach to learning? How does the approach relate to the mission and vision of the school? 2. Based on your kids' needs and your expectations, what specifically do you need to know? 3. What is the school's behavior policy? How is discipline managed? 4. How do kids get to school? Does the school have a bus pickup and drop off service? 5. How does the school ensure the safety and security of its students? Are there cameras? And if so, how are they monitored? Is there GPS? Is there GPS on the school bus? Are there ID cards for parents, caregivers, and pickup drop off person? 6. What is the average school to teacher ratio? In India, many classes have support staff. How many support staff are there in each class? 7. How are kids who need individual learning modifications addressed? Are the classrooms inclusive? 8. How much homework is given? For younger students, are there opportunities for free play? 9. What are the school grounds like? How is the school's infrastructure? When it comes to the classroom, is it well lit? Is work displayed? How are the seats arranged? If they are in straight lines and rows, this could tell you the school is more of a traditional individual, rote memory approach. Seats arranged in groups demonstrate more of a collaborative approach to learning. 10. Ask to visit the cafeteria. Where is the food prepared? What kind of food options are there? So best of luck.